every week. Every week you mess this up. I gave you the signal. I oh, gave I you the signal. I was itching my eye. I'm sorry. Hey, everybody. No, 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 no. We're, we're going to do it over. We're going to do You're going to get it right this time. Look for the signal. Look I, for was itching, I was itching. I had an itchy eye. Okay. Here we go. One more time. Hey, everybody. <laughs> My nipples look like milk duds. Greetings. You, you gave me a signal. <laughs> yeah, so then you get as close as you can in the microphone. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, that was How's fun. everyone doing? Yeah, this is a good intro. Josh, you didn't say anything. I said my nipples look like milk duds. Wait, hold on. That's not your line. Line. Hello there. All right, go ahead. Want to do it one more time? <laughs> no, I mean, not at all. No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? How you, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is uh, 600 Science uh, uh, logging off for the night. Wait, 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 wait. No. No, no, we're, we're here to stay. We can't. Don't forget our episode title. Oh, yeah. Do I have to <laughs> reread that for the podcast? <laughs> no. No. I mean, you can't. We'll just say uh, it's the episode title and we'll leave it up to just, them. To yeah, you guys learn. have to look it up. Uh, the live stream episode uh, for December 18th, Vote Flake. Um, you guys can look that up. I will give you the website, UrbanDictionary.com. Um, we got a good setup uh, show stream for you tonight. Uh, it's always good because, ooh, hey, there goes Rufio. Rufio. Um, oh. Rufio. Oh. Hey, Dale. Yeah. Uh, how's your mohawk doing? It's not, it's not a mohawk. It's just permanently ingrained where my head has actually increased a little bit. It's where hair refuses to grow because it's well, headset. So, it's... so if I take a shower after this, you can still see right here. But the worst part is my my skull actually has like a divot right here and right here. Yeah. It's because your soft spot. You've been wearing a headset since you were yeah. a baby. Yeah. Well, the, these things hold it off my ear. Hold it off your oh. ear? Yeah, because like normally if you look at it, like these things, the, the pads would sit on my ear. Or the top part would sit on the top of my head, unless it's fully. But this thing are spring-loaded, so they kind of hold it up for me. That seems weird. Uh, it's more comfortable when you play video games for 14 hours a day like Dale does. I do not play video games for 14 hours a day. I work, well, he, and then he I play on the computer. On. He has that headset on. I have the headset on for yeah. 14 hours a day easily. Yeah. Um, also, I mean, Dale plays video games and works at the same time. I do not so. do that. Hey, hey guys. Yeah. Did we change this at all? What? I mean, like, not that I, not that I'm upset about Hanukkah, but didn't we say Happy Hanukkah last week? When does Hanukkah yeah, end? Yeah, there's. Yeah. Today. I mean, it's eight. Eight it's crazy good, nights of Hanukkah. No, I understand that there's eight days of Hanukkah, but what does that have to do with why we said it last week? We can't say Happy Hanukkah again. I mean, we could. No, you're right. I, mean, I will delete it. I'll, it's gone. If Christmas was more than one day, we'd be like, happy I second would say day Merry, I would say Merry Christmas on the the first day we came up upon it. Like, if we if we did if we did Hanukkah on the, or if we streamed on the fifth day of Hanukkah, what if we streamed every day of Hanukkah? We're going to say happy Hanukkah every oh, day. I would, I would assume we would. The Menorah Podcast. <laughs> yeah. They... We, oh, my God. The Menorah podcast, we only stream for the eight days of Hanukkah. And then don't stream the rest of the year. The whole rest of the year. A ton of Gentile men just not even Jewish. Not, yeah. Not not to talk about, like, uh, to, to go off to religion topics, but did you know that there was only, there wasn't three wise men? Wasn't there? I mean, there was only I'm sure two? there was no, so more than three. There was, yeah, there's there was... Uh, all we know is that there was wise men that to to okay. to deliver the Franken uh, sense 
myrrh and gold to okay. to Jesus. And they so left they're saying so but, they're saying because there was three gifts, there's three wise men. Yeah, that's the that's the general principle. That's the general way people think through it. Okay. Um so each each, each person was, was only older. Yeah. But they actually like specify how many wise men there were. I mean, it would it would make sense if there were just one person per gift, which is why what, this is so out of question? order, but it's it's so relevant to this topic. Uh, the Star of Bethlehem uh, most likely was uh, Jupiter and Saturn being super close yeah. together in the like sky. Like it was this last week? Like it's going to be on the 21st. Yeah. They, they, oh. I've seen that too. I've seen that too. So I thought it there's, was there's people saying that the Star of Bethlehem will be visible in the night sky for the first time since like the 1420s. Um and it's not a star. It's two planets, yeah. but yeah, it will be Which super direction, bright. Which direction, Josh? Uh, so, it'll be the brightest object in the sky. So who gives know, a shit? Is it if you look to the west or look to the east? Or look, or look to the north or look to the south? Do you know? I think it's wherever Jesus was. I don't know. I, I have we, no idea where it's going to be. First of all, we all know that that's not a real thing. Yeah, I know. Where did the uh, wise men Jesus start was from? not born in the winter. Well, I mean, they had to come from somewhere. So when a mommy wise man and a daddy wise man love <laughs> no, very I'm much. Talk- and no, that's actually not how the story went, if you remember. Oh, <laughs> when a mommy wise man and a, and it just magically has a <laughs> immaculate conception. Uh, what was it? I was watching. Uh... <laughs> Guys, this is the last day of Hanukkah, and we're just talking Christian. Just call Christian. So, Listen to this. So I was watching Stargate, and there's an episode of Stargate. <laughs> These are going to be so upset. Where the girl is is fully pregnant, and she's like, "I am pregnant." You can't see it because she was talking over like a video phone kind of thing. Don't worry about that part. But she's like, "Yeah, I'm Wait, actually pregnant." A video phone in Stargate. It, it wasn't a video phone. It was actually they put uh, like jewels on a thing, and then their mind switch bodies. <laughs> So they couldn't see the body. Was the the girl was still pregnant in a different galaxy, but her mind was in somebody else's body in this galaxy. That's why wait, I said on. like a video phone wait, type hold on. thing. Quantum hold on, so if, if wait, if Josh and I were doing this video phone thing, yeah, who the hell is who the hell am I? Talking Josh would to? be Drew. Drew would be Josh, and you guys would just put the stones on, and then whoever when you guys are done, you just take the stones off. Okay, hold on. But if we switch each other's places, then there's nobody in the room. Then how the fuck are we talking to somebody if there's nobody in the room? You become each other. It's like Freaky Friday. Yeah, but in Freaky Friday they didn't have fucking telepathy. It wasn't telepathy. It, just, it was they switch they, they switch bodies. Like their minds switch to different bodies. Exactly. So how would they talk to each other? They're not talking to each other. They're trying to get you to talk to the other people in the galaxy. So you are a vessel. You're being a temporary vessel for somebody to, to have a conversation with. Oh, okay. So, so it's I like see. if I wanted so, to talk to Tasha, I would just switch bodies with you and then. And I'm like, what the fuck? What are you doing go here? with your yeah. wife. Yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't like, know who I, I am. I, I, like, I like get in Josh's body <laughs> and it's just his mom like, let's watch I, Star Wars. I think what they use it for, and they briefly talked about it in Stargate, is like you could have somebody of lesser consequence, like some nobody, go to another galaxy or go to another planet and and you know transport there without any you know without uh being molested or being killed or anything like that and then when they got there they could put the stone on for like the president and the president could chat with somebody that makes sense i see yeah and then get molested and then get molested they they would know that like the person's going to inhibit the body or whatever yeah yeah yeah, they they both have to put the stone on yeah i thought it was like Josh is trying to tell me something. And he's like, "I switch bodies with you." It don't make sense. No, but yeah. now it makes a lot. But the point anyway, of the story dude. was the oh point of the story. No, let me finish this. You write it down, and then we can switch back, and then you just Holy read the notes. Yeah. It, what the fuck? That's so, going in my next D campaign. So the girl was pregnant, and she's like, she's like, "Have you guys ever heard of you know giving birth without being you know doing the the sex thing?" And she's like. And everyone's kind of looking around the room. They never say it. But they all look around the room. It's like, well, there was one, and then that was it. But so they they what? they briefly reference the immaculate conception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mary and the, but they never talk about Jesus. The stone switcheroo. They switched place with the baby. 
Oh, the baby was an Ori. Oh my god, and the baby's like, <laughs> like in utero, just like help, help. The guy's like, the person's the like, guy's, this thing isn't working. The guy's <laughs> screaming from in the belly, and it's just like. Gah, 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 gah. That's you know, funny. They didn't touch base that's on a that real, one. That's a really good one. That's funny. Uh, we need to watch Stargate more. <laughs> yes. Yes, Man, you do. Fuck that show. Stargate you know there's so like funny. 17 seasons. There's not. Wait, hold on. Is it from old the olden days? So there's uh, Stargate SG-1 from 2000 or from 1995 to like 2005. And there's Stargate Atlantis. From like 2001 to like 2007. Wait, hold on, pause. Two things. Yeah. Stargate is it supposed to be a space show? Yeah. Atlantis is underwater. How does that work? <laughs> so Stargate Atlantis. Wait, was... is it a lost city? They yes. find Atlantis yes. in an episode of SG One, and then they're like, "Let's make a spinoff." They made a spinoff, and it worked great. So okay, they... wait, they they fucking take Atlantis from the ground and just go. So it was a city that had like star shit, like it was a ship, and it flew to another galaxy, and it was there. After they met the Asgardians, no, then no, you're you're saying like little tidbits, and Drew's just asking more questions. I know, I know, he's just like, wait, what? And the Egyptian, yeah, after they met Thor and Egyptian gods. Pause. How is Stargate (laughs) part of the MCU? It's not MCU. (laughs) You know, like the little gray men and Rot from Roswell. Yes. Those, those guys are, are Asgard. those are Asgard. Asgards? Asgards. Nope. Oh. All all the myths myths that we got about Asgardians and stuff like that, uh, they're all gray aliens. That's why. They came to Earth back in the day and we were like, oh crap, well, we're just gonna call you. But there was humanoid aliens that looked just like Egyptians that were pharaohs, and somehow we're like, let's make an entire culture out of these guys. L- one, they were snake people that inhabited humans. Wait, I thought Egyptians were <laughs> we cat people. Know- they have a cat thing, and they go. To... That's Bast, and that's no, just one of the gods. Yeah, that's just one god, and he ended up being a bad guy. They're all bad guys. Yeah. <gasps> well, no, no, they're not. Teok's a good guy. Teok's not Wait, a good wolf. Pause. Pause. He's a Jaffa. He's not a bad yeah. guy. That's who Black Panther speaks to. Goes and sees Bast, doesn't he? How is he a bad guy? What? What? Isn't isn't the the Panther God Bast? In Black Panther? No. Maybe. But I'm I sure know. Bast. I know Bast existed in Black Panther, but I didn't think it was the actual Black Panther. It could be. I don't know. No. I think, like, for the same Bast, reason. In the comics, Bast was the protector of the Panther clan and is also referred to as the Panther God. Yeah. She was the one who gave Bashinga the rest of his lineage, the power of the Black Panther, and control over the Wakanda. It's literally the, okay, the yeah. Earth image that comes up is a Black Panther. Nice. With yeah. with That's cool. shining white eyes. Yeah. Cause it, it's, so that. that's the same one from Egyptian culture then? Uh, I mean... Probably a, a divergent yeah. uh, like character. Well, that's but. interesting. African history is fascinating. But point like, is, real, real African history and Marvel African history. There, I mean, <laughs> it's it is very. I mean, it's very. Uh, what's the word in congruent or in line? Well, that's not congruent. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Parallel. Parallel. Thank yeah, you. That's that's same word. Yeah. Orthogonal. Um. Is like no. Nope, perp- is like par- <laughs> It's like perpendicular. Straight together. <laughs> Straight apart. Oh, Tangent. Bill, you're gonna. You're, you're gonna. Technically, orthogonal is not straight, but I was like, no, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean perpendicular. Because orthogonal is a special type of perpendicular. It's they, perpendicular to the plane, not perpendicular to the line. Which okay, is yeah. tangent. What about co- uh, yes. what about it's, it's tangent? Yes, so that's what about but tangent code. only means circles. What about cosine? What about cosine? What about cosine? There's tangent and cosine. Oh. That's the things on the cal the calculator, right? I saw an Einstein on a cosine the other day, and I was like, "Oh, elf on a shelf." It was so funny. <laughs> um, Drew, if you do, you have Amazon Prime. Do you have Netflix? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's Stargate. Stargate on Netflix. Watch. 
I mean, it's a little dated at the beginning, but then there's brand new ones that came out like five years ago. What? A, a Stargate what? Universe. Okay. Yeah. Let I was me, like, okay. Give me, give me one episode. Give me one episode. Do you like episode. Jason Momoa? No. Well, I mean, I do. Jason but... Momoa starred Jason in Momoa. Stargate Atlantis. Okay. Yeah. Of course he did because he's fucking Aquaman. But he was bef before all this. That was his role. Yeah. I yeah. know. That's right. why they picked him as Aquaman. So hold on. Pause. Give me one episode that would capture my intention it's hard to, to say because like then you can't do it i think it's one of the season finales it has to be it has like to be early early season finale i think because give me, any, give me any show and if i've seen it i can tell you the exact episode that you should watch to capture your because like in the early days they go through the stargate the whole point is this there's this big ring that watch you go movie. through Ooh, watch the movie Watch the movie. The movie doesn't oh. do it justice. The yeah, movie, the movie is though, gets you started in like, like oh, this is kind of cool. What, no, because it's all about the adventure. It's all about shooting up bang bang. The actual like adventure part is the is the good part. <laughs> the drawn out TV show aspect of it that yes. keeps it going for yes. twelve seasons. <laughs> I recommend it, dude. I really do. I I okay. When me and Dale were younger people, I used to come over to Dale's house and we would literally watch four or five hours of sg1 uh as his as his, as fast as he could torrent them we would watch like entire seasons of sg1 and then we watched Ooh, las vegas Dale torrenting josh you, that never happened. you ddosed me how dare you whatever um yeah now i, I just watched said we watched las vegas <laughs> that was a good show um hey okay so dale have you watched white collar then uh yeah i Did love you watch color. all of it yeah it is no my favorite and the best tv show in the history i thought it ended too quickly it no it's straight up ended too quickly and i hate it for hate uh, uh what is it uh not cbs uh tbs, that TBS. Her, was that who no. was tbs i don't know i can't remember what nbc nbc I can't remember what who, who broadcasted it. American Drama Series on. So, I googled the best episodes, and I know me and Josh are going to have the best episode title already. It's, it's only the best episode after you've seen other episodes. Exactly. Though. They talk about like the. A season or a, the is a season finale, and then the yeah, first beginning of next season, the Lost City. So how they talk about the Atlantis and everything. That, that's a great episode. They bring in Prometheus. They bring in the X three hundred two, the X three hundred three. Um, that's a good one. They talk. Wait, about hold on, pause. Wait, Twentieth Century Fox is now owned by Disney, right? Yes. Is it? I yeah. want petition right now for Disney to bring back fucking white collar right now i don't think they'll do it yeah they will do and it isn't caffrey said you know caffrey said he would do it on a twitter thing like seven months ago not even like right oh, before covid that honestly was the thing that i was like i don't think neil caffrey would want to do it the main actor uh, uh matt bomber sorry whoever the main actor was yeah he's, matt done, bomber. he's done a few yeah. other things yeah he was in oh, yeah. fucking magic mike I don't yeah. know which that. is I never saw Magic Mike. Uh, of course I would know Magic Mike. My slutty wife wants to watch all the time. Yeah, she said, yeah, you're right. Hey. All right, all right, all right. So I'm going to have you watch two episodes. It's it's, okay. the, it's a con continuation of the next one. The Lost City. Or right. Lost City is what it's called. So Lost City. MacGyver's in, in it. Put it in the uh, put it in the notes. Okay. I will, or or uh, I'll text uh, it to you. Message it, message it to me on on here. On this. Oh, on Discord. Um. All right. So. Let's yeah. Lost city. All right. Cool. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's get into some sexy news here. Let's uh, do it. Uh, happy Hanukkah, everybody. Last day of Hanukkah. Um. I don't know. Do you light the last candle or blow out the last candle? Which one is it? I always forget. Light the last candle? 
I thought you lit all the candles and then you blew them out one by one. I don't know. I, I really, don't know. I mean, that's not meant to be insensitive. Gosh, I really wish we had somebody who knew more about Judaism to tell us about this. Nora's. Um, all I can, all I can think about is the Hanukkah song from Adam Sandler. <laughs> like that's all I can think about right now. Hanukkah. Whoa. Was that really loud? Sorry. Yeah. And it wasn't words. That yeah. was the worst thing. Yeah, I was mumbling. <laughs> so you use the one candle to light all the other ones. Yeah, so you, you light the first one on the first day, or the, the candle the day before, and then you light each additional candle. I think cool. that's what this is saying. But anyway, uh, it's the last day of Hanukkah, and uh, happy uh, Hanukkah. Um. Yeah. Grab and your harmonica. Yeah, that's uh, I don't know. I wonder if if that is a, offensive for. I guess it's Adam Sandler, right? The Hanukkah that, song. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure, with I, everything, I people. I can't speak for the entire community, but I'm sure they love it. I mean, nobody else, <laughs> nobody else wrote a song about Hanukkah. <laughs> like, if, if I'm sure the people be... did write songs about Hanukkah. We just don't know about them. That's probably also true. <laughs> okay, can I just... How do we move off there... this before we get anything close to anti-Semitic? Okay, <laughs> let's just move off this completely. As there, long as we don't... There's a as TikTok as... about Hebrews that is really funny. Yep, that's as probably as... not a good idea to bring that up. No, as no, long it's, as we it's about an animal, kink of Jews. As long as uh, on on Twitter, as long as we don't call people simp's or virgins or whatever, <laughs> or incels. We'll be, that's the other one we can't say. We'll be okay. Um, we just we just did all three. No, you, we didn't call anybody in a derogatory manner. <laughs> we just said the words. Did you know it's illegal to say? I want to kill the president. It's totally illegal. You can't say it. It's one phrase. It's the one phrase that you can't say. You can't, you say, can't say, I want to kill the president. <laughs> um, but not, I can tell you, you that. Yeah, because it's, it's not illegal for me to tell you that it's illegal to do it. I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm letting you know. What's the one thing? I just want to give you an understanding. Your legal Should basis you... for this is a TV show from the 90s. Yeah, we're I'm sure we're gonna get investigated. Hi <laughs> NSA, hi FBI. I just, I just picture like <laughs> secret service agents come busting out of my bathroom, and I'm like, "Holy shit! How'd you guys get into my bathroom?" And there's some know, like, secret. We've been here the whole time. <laughs> yeah, there's some secret toilet technology they have to be able to get through the pipes. It's the guys you, from oh, oh, the White Kids every or what the. <laughs> What's the show called? It is the whitest kids we know. Yeah, whitest kids you know, whatever. <laughs> they have a port, a port a potty hole. Uh, side um, side track on all this, Drew. Uh, did you know Ring of Elysium like is dead? Yes, 110%. like like we tried. Me and my buddy uh, Ali we tried to get into it all the or tried to get into it, and there's not enough players to actually queue one game. Have you have you switched to the uh, the EU servers? Yeah, we switched everything. Damn. Yeah, we we ended up playing against bots uh, the whole time that we had to select ahead of time. We were in queues for hours. After ten minutes, it kicks you out. Really? Yeah. So we just kept queuing, 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 and it would not do anything. Man, it was. And a, this is. I, a, it was a good game. Good free game. I thought it was. A, I thought it was a good game. Yeah. I don't know what the issue was. Um, there's a new season that came out like just before all this and Ali buys the season pass before we queue for anything. So he, he wasted no. his money. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Man. They should pull a PlayStation and pull it from the shelves. Yeah. Well, Why isn't that is. on here? I, that's one I was, I, I mentioned that cause I was like, that's news. We probably should have talked we, about. We can switch that with, uh, <laughs> with nerdy, the man, the Mandalorian. Yeah. Shit. yeah. Um, I've been playing it, uh, so we can talk about it. Not you shit, but like, point. you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, but you have a next gen console, so you're not hindered by 
just because I haven't had console doesn't mean I haven't seen the in-game ads. That's not why I got pulled, though. No, it's not why I got pulled, but it's a controversy. We talk about that. I oh. guess. Uh, the biggest news about <laughs> Cyberpunk, though, is that PlayStation pulled it from the PlayStation Store because it can't run on the PS4. Yeah, well, so it can run. It's just kind of buggy. And and from what I from what I've seen, the um the issue is not the issue is not the game. It's the amount of space. Like if somebody. So the problem that people are running into, it, well, do we just want to jump? Uh, let's just do the sexy news and we'll talk about it. Sorry, <laughs> later. Uh, cool. I got a COVID vaccine. I don't know if it's a Pfizer or Moderna or whatever. but Or the Russian ones. Or the Russian one. It might be the Russian one. I'll figure it out. Um, Comrade. Sorry, I got this little red dot. Actually, below the red dot, that's a pimple, I think. I was gonna say, I was like, it's kind of raised, which I think is not what you're supposed to have. You can on your see account. that clearly on his. I can't see that clearly. Yeah, I can't even see the mark, let alone if it's raised or not. This is it's a not pimple. raised. That was just muscular definition on Drew's shoulder. In the size and shape of a pimple. Yeah, so it's a the it's underneath a pimple. Gotcha. That's how that's how I know where it's at. This is right here. Ow! It hurt my muscle. It's like um, when you find that one star in the sky, and then you just are like, oh, that's this star, because it's over here. The needle juice right. is on the, the left shoulder of Orion. Um, uh, so, yeah, the FDA approved the second COVID vaccine for Moderna. Um, the first one was the Pfizer vaccine, um, uh, which was like uh, two weeks ago. The 11th. Like last, so. la- last week. Um, so... What do you guys think? I mean, so I've seen a lot of memes going around. It's like, oh, they haven't sur- they haven't cured cancer in in twenty years, and they can figure out how to do a vaccine in a day or nine months or whatever. Two different things. Thank you. Two different things. Unscientific, uh, stupid. I I literally hate every single meme, every single joke about these vaccines. Like, I hate it because people don't realize that every time someone makes a joke about the vaccine turning someone into a liberal or microchipping them or anything like that, some idiot out there is like, oh, my God, this is totally true. Like, it, hey, it's, well, it's not. Pause. So I when I told my my when I told my dad I got the vaccine, he's not like a crazy person or anything, but yeah. I was like. I got the vaccine, so that means I got the whole bunch of nanites in me making a chip and, and tracking me forever. Yeah. Oh, very funny. But so but the, the problem is like we have a a bias as human beings that even if we see jokes all the time, we start to believe it as true because we see it more. Like we, we can't help it. So the more we joke about like, oh, this vaccine's gonna inject people, you know, this it, it whatever joke we want to make the more people will just believe it because we see it more and like that is terrifying for something that needs a 75 plus majority of people to get for it to be effective and the fact that like 60 percent of the united states is only on board getting it right now we cannot afford to have one to two percent of the population not get the vaccine because it's not going to do any good. Like we'll be stuck in yeah. this coronavirus thing forever, and it it, well, it so, scientifically drives me crazy. Unfor- <laughs> it's very unfortunate, but I do not think no matter how many people, like how, it, it, how much under seventy percent of the people get the vaccine, I do. I don't think that we're not going to rapidly go back to normal. I really don't. I don't think it'll last more than six months. Dale and I won't get the vaccine until late spring, early summer. I can almost guarantee it. Yeah. Why not? It will not be offered to healthy young individuals until that time. There's just not going to be enough of it. Yeah. And I'm okay with waiting. I, uh, my, my situation, my lifestyle right now is okay for that because I can work from home until at least June. I don't, you know, go anywhere. I don't interact with people, and I'm doing, but you know, COVID safe not, stuff. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that 
I think that that regardless of the amount of people that get it, even if after everything's said and done by by uh, July of next year, uh, if we have sixty seven percent of people getting it, or even less than that, fifty percent of people getting it, forty eight percent of people getting it, I don't think that society is going to uh, um, wait. I don't think society is going to wait for. Once they once they have a somewhat relatively like once the vaccine comes out uh, and is moderately available, I think people are going to start pushing. Okay, let's open this back up. Let's open that back up. Let's open because what's gonna what's gonna come down to at that point is is uh, people who are possibly at risk are going to be, they're going to do the the anti masker situation where people who are possibly at risk they can stay at home if they want to but the people who have either had the vaccine or don't feel that they're at risk are gonna go out i mean i pray that one of the reasons why we elected joe biden president who took this pandemic seriously is going to be that there will be federal restrictions on that very thing happening um I don't I think I think I don't think there will be federal restrictions. I think it'll be mask mandates and that's it. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be PPE and mask mandates. I would find Um, it hard to believe that a lot of Democrats would would push for something that is required like that. It's it's just that if we leave it up to people to make their decision that at 20 percent, at 50 percent, it's good enough for people to go back out again or even think they can start going back out. No, it, you need to be at that seventy-five to eighty percent. We're not. Threshold. We're not disagreeing with you, Josh. I just don't no, think that no. there's going to be a federal yeah. mandate for it. No, I mean, and, and they can't federally mandate it. No, but there. Well, they, I, but I they could. There's going to be leadership from the federal government putting pressure on states. Oh, I agree then, with that. Yeah, definitely. To yeah, then definitely. say, I mean, hey, and we're all keep everyone locked. You guys, up. you guys, you guys. We agree. I agree. What's that from? Uh, yeah. Fucking video game high school. Anyway, uh, but no, I I just don't think I don't think that it's gonna be uh, a stay. I don't think there's gonna be a stay at home man uh, like a stay at home order because they already tried to do some that in some states and it it fell too too far or whatever the case was. Michigan I, just Mich- extended yeah, theirs. We, uh, no, we're cutting it back now. It just went to June fifteenth, didn't it? No, I just saw something on the it was. Yeah, we, we we were. I was just. I follow uh, Governor Whitmer on Twitter, and she was saying that yeah. the restrictions are are showing great promise. That ones we have in uh, right now, and we had a six week uh, six week mandate to close everything again, and it's looking like we're going ahead of schedule. So what was the what was the mandate to close? It was to close certain things. I I tweeted it out a so, few months ago. So like the, the, like uh, eating in restaurants, uh, movie theaters. Places of gathering, uh, getting a haircut or what? Restaurants and stuff are still closed until January fifteenth. Yeah, yeah, but that's like the end of the six weeks. Yeah. That's the end of the six weeks. Yeah. Bowling alleys are open again. I think is what they said. I have and a. It's on my Twitter. I'm gonna casinos. look for. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, but it it just like it was just announced like recently that that happened. But it was an extension that was supposed to expire in December, and they extended it to January fifteenth. I thought. Because you said you said June just a minute ago, so that's I meant why January. Yeah, yeah, that's why J- Dale and I were fucking like June. That's six months, seven months out. Yeah, I don't no, see, yeah, it was January. I don't see it on my. And that, that's how she's been doing it. Is kind of like you get close, and then like, no, we're gonna give it an extra week. No, we're gonna give it an extra week. Instead which is, of in the beginning, it was like which is fine, but that's seventy not, days. I really don't think that that's a man. Like that's not that's different. That's a that's city restrictions on specific uh, activities and events. I'm talking about. I don't think there will be when Biden gets in on J- January twenty twenty first at or twenty twentieth at noon or twenty first at whatever. I don't think that there's gonna be a two week stay at home order issued for the entire u.s like i think things are going to go they're going to require ppe at all public places throughout the united states which i don't give two shits about i'll wear a mask like and they're going to have 
uh, cutbacks on um, large gatherings again and things of that nature. Um, and you're going to, you're going to have uh, a lot of public areas going down. What's this to do? Uh, this is the, um, the, for COVID-19 for Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, schools, colleges, workplaces, when work from home can be done. But see, that's the problem is you've got workplaces and then contingency when work can ho- work from home can be done. Mm-hmm. Like, so, but like the thing is, is the con so the problem is the contact vectors are still there it's just they're uh less timing i suppose you you can't uh you can't go in the the restaurant but you could still go to a restaurant for pickup or takeout or whatever which yeah i understand it's less time to contact and and make that vector work but I like how is bowling a really big thing in Michigan? Uh, the collegiate uh, championship happens in Canton, Michigan, every year. No, the WPGA or PBA happens. The women's the NCAA no. collegiate thing happens in Canton, Michigan. No, that's the Women's Pro Bowling Association happens. He's googling it. One of my friends won it in at the Super Bowl. Like she bowled at the University of Nebraska. The Super Bowl. I don't understand. You. The women's one is every year. Um well again, anyway. this was this is when I lived in Canton, so anything that's happened between now and then, but Hey, Nebraska has the most titles for NCAA bowling championships. Nice. Did not cool. realize that. Yeah, uh, just look up uh um, was it, what was it called, called again? Super Bowl. The NCAA. Super Bowl. Yeah. B-O-W-L-ing. Super Bowling. Yeah. Um, all right. So, anyway, COVID yeah. is happening. I don't have any hope for quarter one, quarter two. 2013 quarter was that Super Bowl. It was won in, by Nebraska. Um, so, it, it, I guess it goes through. Uh, they do it. Uh, Taylor, Michigan, they had one. Canton, Michigan was 2009. Um 2013 Canton, Michigan. They were going to do one at Thunder Bowl in Allen Park, um, but that got canceled due Thun- to COVID nineteen. So Thunder Bowl is the is the big one. That's we went there for bowling. Me and Kyle did huge, huge bowling alley, the biggest I've ever seen. Yeah. But the, how many lanes? Michigan you know? is I, one of the I'm gonna look it up. the bowling capitals for collegiate bowling. It's it's a big deal. That's where a lot of the championships are held is, in is ninety lanes. lanes. 90 fuck that's yeah. a lot of lanes i thought 30 lanes was a lot there was a place in omaha that had 30 lanes i think oh. what oh what dale dale i'm oh, just dale, changed. Up. oh um all right so yeah like i said i think quarter one and quarter two are going to be pretty fucking low <laughs> in, as far as that stuff goes and i think that's going to give good headway for quarter three and four to be pretty good for events. I think that's really going to do it. What are you yes. fucking giggling about? You said good, give good headway. So we're going to do another share my screen thing. Nice. I love, I love Who are we going to look at? This is the Thunderbolt. Holy shit. Yeah. They got like tiered levels so you can see everything. This is where they I tried. To, this is where I they tried to. I tried to scoot over. Yeah. I tried to click one of the other pictures. Did it work? No, it didn't. Dang. <laughs> yeah, just a... Is this the 90 lane place? Yeah. There's there's this area, and there's like four other areas around the place. So they're not they're not in, in line. In one line? That would no, no, no. So let me see if I can do a... Do a geographical or a uh, yeah, go there. Do that satellite image. Yeah. Dang, that's kind of crazy. It just faded into it. Oh, they even have a baseball field. Yeah. Look at that. Right baseball ball. So, like on this side is where all the professional stuff is, like where they do the, like the PGA stuff. 
This is just regular, like, everyday bowling, and it has the restaurants and a few other things. And then down here, I don't know what, uh, what it is, but there's another separate bowling. I think it's for private parties and shit. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah. I just specifically remember bowling being a huge thing uh, when I was, even, like, when I moved back to Michigan in 2009, 2010, it was a big thing. And then one of the people yeah. I went to high school won a state championship or a national championship at the Super Bowl yeah. in Kansas, where I lived. You keep saying Super Bowl, and I hate you for it. it I, I, that, that's why it's so fun. funny. I know a girl who won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Mickelson. Um, so, yeah, back backtracking. Uh, vaccine, a second vaccine was uh, approved. Um, it's the Moderna vaccine. Um, do we know, like, any of the differences between the two? It, I mean, the, this one doesn't have to be kept in super duper cold, which okay. is nice. No but also, this one is only for 18 years or older, not 16 years or older. I know there's a difference for that, too. Yeah, I can't, uh, for my test, I can't have, uh, I can't try to procreate uh, for three months after the second shot. So I have basically four months. I have to be uh, not abstinent, but I have to not try and get Tasha pregnant. You have to wrap it before you tap it? Snip it. I actually have an appointment for that, but... um, I don't know if I can now. I don't know if I can do that. I mean, I, I don't see why it would be an issue, but they told me. I really wish they'd had like a two for one sale so we could go together. I mean, what? Uh, Hold you, each other's if you, hands. If you go without insurance, uh, you can pay $900 and get it done at Nebraska Medicine. And if you have insurance, you still have to pay out of pocket like $1,800. It's the fucking stupidest thing ever. The the insur- the cost for it, if you have insurance, is eighteen hundred dollars out of pocket. Mm, not for my charge- United Healthcare. Is it free? Uh, no, it's like five hundred bucks. Oh. And cool. it's covered. I can write it on my HSA. I nice. looked it up. Yeah. My asthma inhaler isn't covered by my insurance though. Which one? That's stupid. stupid. Albuterol. It's like can you switch it? That's like super cheap though. I, I know it's forty bucks for two hundred and eighty puffs, but yeah, two hundred eighty puffs. So, um, all right, so, um, yeah, so I can't do that, and then also there's another thing, um, uh, you have to be cautious about spontaneous invisibilization. Yeah, I uh, sometimes I just shit. Is that one of those jokes that people are gonna believe if we joke about it? No, I mean, I just realized I might be not. my own worst enemy. People you believe there's fine. microchips in the vaccine. I'm pretty sure your invisibility thing is not going to persuade them. <laughs> uh, they obviously haven't seen that movie with Kevin Bacon where he turns invisible and tries to murder everybody. They obviously well, haven't seen Mystery Men from the fucking 90s either. Hey, uh, he only turns know. invisible when people aren't looking at him. We we don't know that he actually turned invisible. We we do. He turned invisible in the, in the movie. Listen. He said he said he turned invisible. No, we don't know in the in the scene, there's a scene yeah, of a of a invisible. camera that watches him because the camera is watching him, and then they watch the camera and they see him turn invisible. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Right. Um. All right. So let's and then he's jump naked. into. Yeah, then he's naked. Well, he has to be naked Kel- because otherwise you see his clothes. Kel yeah, Mitchell clothes. naked. A young Kel time. Mitchell. Well, yeah, that's we're we're going we're getting too pedophile there. Um, let's jump into nerdy news. How old is he then? I don't know. Probably. I mean, he wasn't like Keenan and Kel age. Twenty. Yeah, he had to be like eight, like uh, uh, older than the age of consent. I mean, well, age of consent is pretty low in some states, Dale. Seventy-eight. So he's seventy-eight. Is born. Oh, see, he was not 78. <laughs> and Mystery Men. Really? Mystery Men came, like out, Mystery in Man came out in 99. 99? So he was 21. 21. What'd I say? 22? 23? That was pretty close. Um, 
Anyway, uh, let's jump into our news. Sony pulled Cyberpunk 2020. So was it just pulled for glitches? <clears throat> so, so the problem. The... Okay. Go ahead. I was going to say, the, the letter by Cyberpunk, uh, by the manufacturers, literally was like, we didn't test the game on the older consoles. We understand that it's that there are frequent problems like 17 frames per second is how fast the game is rendering on some of the older consoles. And it's making the game unplayable for a lot of people. Yeah. Like not just the fact that there's glitches and bugs, but the fact that the game was not meant to be processed by the older processors in the PS4 and the Xbox One, especially the regular Xbox One, not the Xbox One S or the second series of the Xbox releases. So um, the that new both got upgrades. The newest next gen Xbox is the Xbox One X. No, it's the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. So it's series, not one. So Xbox One and Xbox One X were last gen's model. It was last gen's per first model and last gen's and the upgraded S. model. Okay. There's the One S as so, well. So now it's just yes. Xbox Series S? Series X and Series X. Which so are no, now... no the number one anymore. Yes. Correct. Okay. So basically they're, they're using the X and S for for the the, reg, the regular and the slim version or in this case the version so that was the same back then you had the one and the one s now you have the series and the series s or the series x and the series s um and uh so what i was hearing from uh some people that uh i know personally that bought playstation is when they because PlayStation, because you have to download everything for the last few generations of games, if you reduce the amount of uh, space on your Xbox or your uh, PlayStation, it drastically increased the amount of uh, playability because the processing power it had more RAM. Uh, I mean, it's not RAM within the console, but it's it is RAM in the console. It's processing power. So if they were if they deleted a couple games to free up space and that their hard drive wasn't completely full, then it played better. It didn't play astronomically great, but it played better. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it was necessarily a hundred percent a CD project red thing or if it was it it wasn't something that they uh, like like Josh said, they didn't test it on the the last gen consoles they only tested it on playstation 5 but the problem with them pulling it from the store completely is playstation 5 people who have been having i would say less issues i haven't had any on xbox so that's just a different thing um but um hey josh can you turn down your uh your sound your mic is picking up drew is it really <sighs> Um, so the, 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 I think that that's part of the issue, but like I said, um, that's a, that's one, that's a one-off thing. I don't think that if you want to buy, I mean, if you want to buy it on a digital, you can still buy a code from, um, from like a GameStop or a third party vendor. So um, they pulled it from the Xbox or the, uh, Sony playstation 5 as well they told they pulled it from the the the, the playstation store so what that i what I, I gather is that is the entire sales uh ability for four and five but um, the the game developer also said they would issue refunds for anybody that wanted it as well yeah, yeah. which Even past, is like, crazy because typical... like you can't return opened games to some places um, but they're just like, nope, we'll give you a refund anyways. Yeah. Well, no. So they're, they're refunding digital copies, but then your digital, from what I understand, your digital license will be void. So you won't be able to play the game anymore. Well, yeah. Correct. yeah. But I think though they're even talking, I think they, they, 
So if you needed to like get, if you they were like, hey, I bought a physical copy, I want a refund for this, and I can't take it back to the store, they will credit you back for that physical copy, and then make it so you can play it. I don't know for sure, but I thought that was something that I was reading that I made it like they were I promising didn't... money back guarantees for things that they couldn't technically, like they 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 have no way of actually giving people their money back for those because the retailers won't accept the return. That was one of the the big controversies that when it first launched, or when cool. it first they first were like, hey, we'll, we'll do a refund. Released a statement that Twitter following to remind players that they can still get a refund for their physical copies. Players can still email help me refund at cdprojectred.com before December 21st to receive a refund. The company says the money will come out of their own pocket if necessary. Cool. Yeah. So they will, they, they are saying they would refund. Um, I mean, I haven't been, I haven't been having any issues with it, so I don't have any. You have the five. Problems with it. I have, I, so we had a, a zero card balance on the Xbox or on the GameStop card. So we, Tasha told me for Christmas, we can get the, uh, put the mic more towards your face through. We can get the Xbox. And so we got the Xbox series X, um, the mini fridge edition. And, uh, and with it, because, so the issue that I ran into is because I didn't pre-order it. I had to purchase two games and an accessory what they're doing there was uh, trying to deter um, scalpers. So somebody would come in and get a, get an unreserved Xbox and then sell it for two to three times its cost or whatever, you know, um, which I'm not trying to mansplain scalpers. I just, that's just explaining what they were doing. Um, so to deter that they're making you spend extra money for unreserved copies of the, the console, which is fine. So I ended up getting a blue controller for Tasha, and then I bought Valhalla, and um, I pre prepaid CD Projekt Red's uh, um, Cyberpunk 2077. Was fine. Like I said, I loaded it up, had a 50 gig, like day one launch download. It came came with two discs. I don't understand why it came with two discs. It said there was 15 gigs of data that I had to download based upon uh, spread across the two discs. Um, I don't know why they couldn't have just done part, like part of that is, a cause you only need the disc for the, the license key. So I don't know why they couldn't have just added the rest of that to, uh, uh, the day one download. But that being said, uh, I probably played maybe, maybe two or three hours and I haven't run into any issues with play, playing. You get some like dead character clipping and stuff like that and i don't know i mean you're probably familiar when the character dies their body kind of folds in on itself and it doesn't really look like a like i mean it it, 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 it very very obviously looks like a that character is folded in half or whatever which yeah that usually happens if it's in like a world that you can move around in is this like a story though yeah so i mean it's open world um uh gameplay first person shooter cuz all um, the gameplay i've seen it they just keep talking with people yeah i mean it's so it's a very um where i'm at now it's very story driven i mean there's definitely i haven't diverged from the the story i'm just trying to get to a point where i'm a little more upgraded like i literally just upgraded my optics so they changed my eyes in the game so they gave me better optics so i have like cybernetic a, eyes yeah i have a cybernetic eye so i can if you hold the left bumper or whatever i can i can look at anything electronic and i have options like hack a keypad or it's very um the the way i've described or i've thought of it and described it is it's very watchdogs meets skyrim sort of you know like you can upgrade you can literally pick out like 90% of the items up in the game. Um and then um and then you're like I said you're upgrading specific parts and you're getting random stuff. So it's it's watchdogs versus like watchdog meets skyrim. So yeah. Um which is which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um yeah. but 
we've we've talked about or you know i've posted about it and i've had people comment about some other controversies of the game and i i haven't run into them in the in game i mean they're notable controversies um the, the one of one of which and i don't know if we really i mean if you guys care to dive into it we can if you don't care i don't we don't have to but um they apparently have uh stated that uh cd project red is uh being super transphobic uh with the game very their hyper sexualization uh, of yeah so people. I, oh i haven't come across that in game besides the one ad that that they that they had uh that had stirred up some controversy last year i have seen the ad it does read just the same way as, as it does on the in the tweet from last year um uh it's a uh a femme f- figure with a outline of a penis in the crotch area um and it's a uh, it's an ad for soda uh, so they say mix it up in the ad and CD Projekt Red released a statement saying something along the lines of, uh, in 2077, in the year 2077, um, why'd you do that, Dale? What? You shared the link. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not to you. Sorry. It just popped up. I was confused. Um, so they said, uh, in the year 2077, where, uh, transgender is more normalized and uh accepted they and this is this is me uh not verbatim but understanding it how i understand it that uh in the year 2077 when it's more accepted and and uh and normalized they uh sexualize transgender people just like they would any other sex males females or or non-binary people you know left to right and uh and that that's that was their uh explanation of it so to speak so they were pretty uh that was i think that was all that they said about it and i don't know if anybody else dove into it or josh i don't know if you dove into it or not but um i i i saw it but because i haven't been playing it i kind of haven't been able to research it more um so so it's something some of the that people, i'm aware of like that criticism has been made so some of the people said that they're they're treating in the game there's in-game treating treatment of uh transgender women in the game uh is very um uh low you know they they're they're rude to them or whichever and that's definitely i mean obviously that's not something i've come across i but like i said i've only played the game for two to three hours total so i haven't too deep into it um i'm interested to see uh how much of that is is true like i said i haven't even seen any typically when i when i research that stuff or look into that stuff i'm looking for you know, screen grabs of anything that would lead to that. Um, uh, there is, uh, there's been criticisms that because you can change the voice of your character, um, uh, but you can change, you can make the voice of your character uh, feminine, but keep the the appearance masculine or vice versa. They treat your character different based on only the voice and not the appearance. And so there's some some and i i think that just with that it comes with coding of the game you know it's it's yeah if you you typically would have a male or female character and and one appearance would be associated with one voice in a in a old we'll call it olden time games you know like if you played skyrim if you picked a female character you would automatically get a female voice or you picked a male character you automatically get a male voice and one thing not to interrupt you drew but one thing no go ahead you have to think about when you create a game or create any you know program anything is decisions have to be made with everything and what i mean by that is if you want you know this person this type of person it has to have a voice 
associated with that person. Like person A has to have voice A or voice B or voice C or whatever the, the thing is. Regardless of how you pick it, there's only a limited number of combinations that you have to pick from, you know, different assets that you can choose. It's not yeah. something that, you know, they can do a infinite amount of. It has to be a, you know, they have to have a set amount of voices or set amount of predetermined stuff yeah, ahead of time. So- so and and one of the like one of the criticisms I, I had seen was uh your character was uh a ways away like uh um like the sniping somebody and the characters you could the characters you were seeing from across the 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 field knew you were a woman uh uh and they would and while while your character may have been dressed like a man based on the the female voice would say oh that crazy or uh whatever uh just based on your voice selection and like you like you're saying you know that that selection triggers set things but um and like i said that's uh, it's not something that couldn't be fixed or couldn't be calculated in but i think like you said there's just sometimes you you have options and you don't think of all of the um uh, the trickle down options that may come from that like you're saying like well, i'm assuming like the, your character i haven't played the game at all by the way but i'm assuming yeah. your character like any other story based game talks randomly and every single one of those talking aspects have to be recorded by whatever person does it yeah. uh, for multiple things you know you know getting hurt or saying something or shooting whatever that person says those voice lines have to be recorded by whatever amount of voice characters you have, male, female, or whoever, transgender, whatever, yeah. they need to be uh, recorded ahead of time. And that means, you know, one more person to have to do the whole game. And so yeah. it's... So, so from my understanding, they have a male and a female voice. That's the only two options that they have. Mm-hmm. And 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 obviously, we understand that there are, there are a slew of other things in between and everything like that. But the game has has posted a generally male and a generally female voice those trigger no matter what your character uh looks like uh the 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 voice selections trigger what i'm assuming and like i said i haven't played it a whole bunch but uh selections the voice selection triggers different uh in game uh um uh verbiage so if you pick a female voice they're saying you know and I think it's only, and I, I really do think it's only based on the voice because you can literally change the physical appearance of your character six ways to Sunday. And the only thing I think that they would have that or the penis slash vagina thing. I mean, realistically, those two, the voice and the, the penis or vagina. I was like, the only option I would think that would make sense, you know, after the game's released is to add another voice line that's more neutral best you can and, do and and they they can they could i think that that's something that they could definitely do but i also think that uh um, a robot voice well i also think that what they could do is i mean they could select maybe you could have a female voice but maybe have an option in the settings that selects hey uh, i want to be in game i want to be uh uh referenced or thought of as a man even though i have maybe a more feminine voice you know that could be an option you could code that with a like essentially giving your character a pronoun exactly and then based on your pronoun that would change how npcs interact with your character and it could it could be as, it could be as basic as okay that okay so if you want to it sounds bad... like right now npcs react with your character based on the voice pronoun not their actual gender identity pronoun of the character. Exactly. So so that's the thing is is when you do it, you don't select male or female. You just yeah. change your character however you want, but you do select a male voice or a female voice. And then the other, like I said, the other option is uh, penis or vagina. And it's big penis, default penis or small penis, and then vagina. So there's more options for the penis than there are voices. Oh, my God. Yes. That's yeah. funny. There's, um, I would say having fans a, for 
uh, cyberpunk characters that have been created. I would say having a, a two male voices, maybe one deeper, one higher pitched, and then same thing with a woman's voice, and, and then maybe a neutral voice. I think and that for sure. And like I said, options. and like I said, that's and the the male voice is <clears throat> generic, scruff and gruffy. Like, oh yeah, I'm I'm Titus Veronicus, and I like you know Keanu Reeves. Yeah, I mean it's so it's, it's CGI it's very Keanu Reeves. Yeah. And so, like I said, it's so that's the criticism I've seen, and and. Un- I mean, unfortunately, it's. I think the I... biggest one that we've seen though is is about the gameplay itself, um, not being up to par for current systems. I think that's the biggest financial drawback that they're gonna have. Yeah. And that's the biggest. Well, for impact sure. And for is said, it on I think PC? A lot of people that. Are... I yes. Yeah. So and those and... are the most people that aren't having any problems really. Yeah. Um... So. Shut up, Dale. Shut up, Dale. <laughs> Um, but like I said, I haven't had any issues. Like I said, I've seen like dead character clipping and that's really the only issues I've seen. Um, it's for me just because of the, the learning curve of the game, there's a lot of like issues I'm having as far as it's like, uh, X is your select button instead of a, which is on par with like the, the fucking Nintendo switch, but not like, uh, normal like xbox games which pisses me off but whatever Mm. um and uh just because i hit the x button and i'm thinking you can remap your xbox controller can't you i know you can remap your xbox controller but remapping's for babies Uh, i mean to be honest like that wasn't something you could do for a long time like i can do it on my xbox one now but like when i first got my xbox one it was not an option to remap your controller so remapping came with a controller update like midway yeah. through the Xbox One or something like that. And it was yeah. just basically they all they did is let you map the controller, which great. But that's because they came out with the pro controller and it had the extra buttons. So they wanted to, they wanted you to be able to map those extra buttons to uh so like literally you could map one to be one of the triggers underneath to be X. So you could literally X X X like double like for, for shooting. You could literally yeah. have a trigger and a, a, a secondary trigger, so you could literally double trigger, almost, yeah. for instance. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think the game's so far overall good, but I'm seeing a lot of people boycott it for both of those reasons. Um, so, I mean, the problem is, is this is like, and I've seen it compared to this, so I'm, but I'm going to steal it, uh, even though I felt it before. Um, definitely like a No Man's Sky 2.0. I mean, No Man's Sky was slated to be a great game, and it wasn't until, like, a year and a half, two years later with a couple hundred updates. I mean, I mean, yeah. I think that they did two or three major updates for No Man's Sky before people, like, uh, finally loved it. And unfortunately, uh, it was – it had already stained its reputation uh, so much. And Cyberpunk was already taking huge criticism for being like, here's our launch date. Oh, wait, just kidding. We're pushing it back. Oh, wait, just kidding. We're pushing it back even more. Oh, that was the Um, other criticism because April was supposed to be the original launch and it wouldn't have even been ready for the the next gen consoles wouldn't have been out. So they would have only had criticism for first gen or last gen consoles. And that's a big oopsie. So. I mean, it's definitely, I, I, it's definitely be a good game. I just don't. It looks don't. graphically amazing. Um, I, it's so. But here's the thing, though. It's not. I mean, it's not graphically uh, like outstanding. Yeah. I mean, it's it is a nice game, but when you get into the nitty gritty of it, like it's not it's not like the it's pretty because of all the visuals but when you get so many of that so much so much of that stuff that's that looks artificial already yeah you don't really get like if it was like cityscapes and stuff like that like uh like mountains and and grass and stuff but i mean when you have like paper flying around on the concrete and 
So my biggest comparison that I can compare it to, at least from what I've seen from video play, um, mm-hmm. is so for instance, my, my biggest thing, and I I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla on my day one Xbox One. Like I got the launch edition Xbox One, and I'm playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla on it, and it looks really good. What's the um, uniqueness for launch day? xbox nothing I'm, just... I'm just i'm saying that like it's old like it is as old as you can get for the last gen console um, the, the launch day to be fair the launch day did have a scorpion for free a scorpion in the inside somewhere oh no wait that was the one x wasn't it i have no idea i yeah. i'm not taking apart my xbox to see if there's a scorpion in it but i meant like so you know, I, I have Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and it looks it looks good. Like, it looks better than, you know, Assassin's Creed 3 on my Xbox 360. Um, but I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey on my PC, uh, and I was able to play it in 4K. I was able to play it in, you know, a more high def. And the scenery looked amazing. Like, I would, I would compare it to somebody who, if you've played Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild... Like that's how they look. Man, like, that's it, it's it's a big difference from what I can see. Um, how some of these older consoles are handling the newer games. Um, it would be really interesting to put Valhalla side by side, uh, for me and Drew, um, with each one of our consoles and kind of see the difference. Cause, I mean, that that's what I meant by the game. Like it it. I think this game was designed for the next gen console without any care about the previous gen consoles. I think that was done on purpose um, and it made the game look a lot better, but it's just unfortunate for those that are like, Hey, we want to take advantage of still having last gen consoles and they probably shouldn't have made that an option. Um, All right. Get into your ready player Two review. Yeah, um, so I, I, I finished Ready Player 2, um, and it, for, you know, kind of spoiler alert for the people that have not read Ready Player 1, I'm kind of going to talk about the ending, because it's a sequel. Um, so we leave the the Ready Player 1 off, where Wade Watts ends up winning Halliday's contest, he gets access to, you know, the robes of Anorak, which is the magical wizard robes giving him superpowers and now he's in control of the oasis um the book starts off with a a new technology that uh james halliday didn't get to launch to the public and left it to his heir to decide um so whoever won the contest would get to decide whether or not they were going to launch this new technology and what it was is it was a user interface that used what's called an O and I headset to map the brain. Um, and you could actually control the, your, your Oasis character using your brain, um, as well as feel and experience things in the Oasis through your brain headset. Um, so and there's a, you know, a big neuro, neuro pathways and stuff like that. Yeah, but it was not invasive, so like they didn't have to like inject anything in your head or anything like that. It started out as a project to help uh, people that couldn't, you know, use the regular haptic rigs and things like that, um, or ways for people to control uh, like their own like robotic hands or limbs. Um, if they were to lose like an arm or something like that, it was an experimental way to do that. But then James Halliday obviously shut down all those programs and then turned it into like this is the future for the game um but it was it was really interesting because i know we were kind of hinting at it with the cyberpunk but one of the things they were talking about that in the book they brought to light which was really interesting was uh this idea that you could you could watch people's memories so people could do something in real life while wearing the o and i headset and it would record that moment in real life. And then inside the Oasis, you could Relive experience that. that through the through the headset. So not um, only is that cyberpunky, but that's also pretty Assassin's Creed. 
Yeah, yeah, it was it was definitely like it was it was a really good like mix of those kind of things. Um, and so one of the things they mentioned was, you know, you could experience what it would be like to be female. You could experience for the first time in human history, we could actually feel the feelings of somebody who had to come out to their parents. We could feel the feelings of somebody who doesn't feel their gender identity. So it took um, it off of if Guardian, we wanted to do uh, heroin. Took it out of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy then. Yeah, it, it was it was a really good I think yeah, that was a really good, good pull, point Dale. in the book. So what? The, uh, I was just saying that, that that's a good poll. He said it took it yeah. out of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah. It was it was <laughs> something that I think was, you know, it's a really interesting concept to think about. Um and I think the book did a really good job of bringing that new kind of world to life um, and the challenges that came with it. Uh, I definitely, if you liked Ready Player One, uh, I will tell you, go out and read Ready Player Two. You might not like Ready Player Two as much as you like Ready Player One. I think Ready Player One was kind of ahead of its time as far as you know everything that could be delivered in that book. It was really good fan service, exactly what we needed it. If you're gonna read Ready Player Two expecting the same thing, you're not going to get it. You're going to get something different, but that's, it's still so a really good that's book. Ex that's exactly what I've heard is that if you think of Ready Player Two as the same thing, just new Easter eggs and new characters or new yeah. stuff, you're not going to like it. But if you experience it for what it is as a continuation of the the entire like uh, the idea of the Oasis, on, like yeah, yeah, um, it's then you'll enjoy it. So um, yeah, it was fantastic. And it, it had some really good metaphysical issues that were addressed in the book that I thought were done really well. Um, Ernest Klein does a great job with that in Armada. He did a great job with that in ready player one, and he took it a step further in ready player two. So uh, I'd give it a eight and a half out of 10 stars. Did you, did you read it or did you listen to it? I was, it's all audible. I'm, I'm, I was, I was, I was just going to say, and you can use our audible code sex in the science, except you can't, I don't think we're, I don't think we have an affiliate for, we never got that working. I, we probably got people that have signed up for it and it never worked, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I like audible it's read by Will Wheaton. Um, the first one was read mm -hmm. by Will Wheaton. Um, so it's interesting. It's, it's the th Will Wheaton has read Armada and, Ready Player One and Ready Player Two, so it's like Ernest Klein's go-to reader <laughs> is Will Wheaton. But um, well, uh, Josh, do you want to? I mean, just want to roll into this next? Uh... Yeah, I was kind of hard pressed to find something uh, sciency. Um, I didn't come across anything that I can think of out of the top of my head. Um, anything really new, other than maybe the Star of Bethlehem thing next week um but uh so one of the things that i came across was this study that they did and we can link it in our youtube page and things like that um on how cooking your meat using the sous vide method um, which is something that i've been doing since the start of covid i've been uh, a lot of experimentation with sous vide um you know different foods and how they taste um they found that uh the way your body metabolizes um, the the meat varies depending on how you cook it. So they compared, you know, like frying or roasting and boiling food and then sous vide. And they found that sous vide was able to cook the food to a healthy level without upsetting your tummy as much was kind of the, the gist of it. Uh, it goes into way more detail about, uh, the reasons why, you know, a roasted over a fire piece of meat will have more of effect on your body than like a boiled piece of meat versus like sous vide. Um, but it's one of my favorite cooking methods. And yeah, baby, you know, just grip kind of it and rip it, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> just have you frozen, Dale. Let's get, let's get fucked up. I was gonna but, say on uh, Christmas. Oh, no, go ahead, continue, Josh. We'll talk about that later. No, I, was, I mean, so just I, it was something that I enjoy cooking, sous vide. 
Um, that's something that it's so fucking good, man. It's I, really I, like... I've made some of the best tasting food in my life Ooh, with the sous vide. That we should do that. Uh, that double sous vide, that big ass brisket. We should do that. Uh, for years. We, should we do I, fucking... I sent you the list of ingredients that we need to get that brisket done. Yeah, I know. cute. Hey yo. Um. So we should do that for New Year's. I think um, yeah, I would love to to do that. We just need to get all those ingredients fucking, since we don't have a fucking smoker. Fucking ringing, fucking ringing the New Year. I'll buy a smoker. I don't care. Fuck it. I'll buy a smoker. <laughs> Let's pay the cell phone bill before we buy a smoker. He's he says without money. <laughs> um, yeah, I was like, uh, I could really use. I haven't gotten paid for. Uh... I understand. I'm not telling you. I'm just saying before you buy a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we pay don't our cell phone bill for um, the first time in six months. Uh, but um, so we want to talk about the Mars thing. I mean, it's kind of bunk news. We talked about. Didn't it we talk about the Mars thing? No, we talked about it in the pre-podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, for those of you guys yeah, who are watching on this months. on YouTube uh, later or listening to it if on SoundCloud, if we post this to SoundCloud or not, don't know. Uh, but anything we, we talk about, you know, we have a pre-podcast and a post-podcast on Twitch. So please, obviously, uh, you know, come come watch us on Twitch. Right now, our stream schedule is Friday nights at 10 Eastern, 9 Eastern. Central. So, yep, just FYI. Um, I think that's kind of it. Do you just want to wrap it up or? Yeah. We're getting close to. Yeah. Two and a half hours. I know we promised Tosh that we wouldn't do three hour long podcasts anymore. And here we are. <laughs> uh she actually was streaming, so why don't you go check her out on Twitch at Moose Avenger forty five uh and on Facebook uh, cosplay and arts. Because I love my wife. Good, cool. Um my wife. My wife. Um, That's something we did not get to talk about. What? The Borat sequel came out when we were on hiatus. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> we'll talk about it next time. Dale, have you? I uh, I know. No. <laughs> All right. Will you watch it? No. All right. Well, um, let's uh, wrap it up. Yeah. Um, also, real quick, shout out to Trevor. He just sent me a fucking twenty five dollars Steam gift card. So thanks, nice. Trevor. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, Where's my Steam gift? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Don't give me a Steam gift card. I'm not going to use it. I'll use it. Give me, give hey, me a twenty-five dollar gift card. I spent, I spent twenty-five dollars on Steam like a week. To Rikers Josh, what's, Beef Co. What's ceviche? What? Not sous vide, but ceviche. Is that ceviche? A, yeah. That's when you uh, cook food using acid instead of. Oh yeah. Uh. So you can use like citric acid to cook like lemon shrimp, juice. kinda. Yes, that's that's citric acid to cook like shrimp um, or some fish, and that's called ceviche. Mm. It's a Spanish dish. Oh. Was that my science question of the day? No, I listened to my Bim Bam, and they were talking about sous vide and ceviche. Oh, this... can I just mention? Anyway. I, I mean, you know, we're ending this podcast, but. Every time I hear any My Brother, My Brother and Me podcast references, I always think of Drew. Um, even when they're like the naughty ones, where it's like, you know what language I studied in high school? The language of language love. Language of love. I used to get in there. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> they, called, they called me Porky Pig, but not because I was having sex. Because when I go I down there, all the time. not because I was porking all the time, because when I get down there, I just go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my. That's uh, yeah, my, Travis, I'm gonna open up a bug type Pokemon gym. That's my favorite fucking uh, one ever. <laughs> like, there's tons of them. There's tons of them. I listen to every episode of my Bim Bam and every episode of the Adventure Zone and like half the episodes of all the other fucking twelve things that they do. But fuck me, that goddamn Pokey uh, <laughs> Pig goof is hilarious. Uh, Travis is my favorite though, so. Uh, he's gonna have to. I have to find a goof that's better. 
I can't know. I don't remember if it was Game Grumps or if it was them, but he was taught. There was one episode where it, I remember listening to. Let's the wrap it audio. up, guys. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he was talking about. He's like, yeah, I had a dream, a sex dream about you, uh, a girl. <laughs> But he was referring to like the bot, the host of the podcast with him. That's funny. <laughs> like, she was tall and muscular. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this has been Sex and Science. Uh, um, our our December eighteenth stream. Call it. Uh, we'll find Dale. Figure out how many episodes. We're just. This is just the end of the podcast portion. We'll come back to the uh, post podcast or post stream. Yeah, I know, but okay. all right. This is the episode. This episode. Thanks for listening. We'll uh, catch you next week. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Sex and Nerd Science Season Five. Make sure to like us and subscribe on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Don't forget to check out our merch on Teespring and support us on Project Nerd Patreon at patreon.com/slash Project Nerd.